Hi guys, it's Kevin again and welcome back to another video. Uh, I've been really bored at home, I've not been out for a while. Um, and I thought it was about time I did a, a bout kit video. Uh, they seem to be very popular and people seem to be really interested in what people have got on the kit. So I thought I'd do mine. Um, so yeah, this is basically the belt kit. Now obviously I don't wear all of this on the belt at once. Um, probably only one or two items actually. Um, I mainly keep it in a, a dry sack in the pouch of my Bergen. But this, if needed to be, and I was lost or I needed to ditch my Bergen, I could put all this together on my belt and know that I'd be pretty much um, safe and secure uh, in any situation. So, I'll bring the camera down and we'll get zoomed in on each and each of the items. So, first item we're going to look at here for the belt kit, uh, and one of the things I carry more often than not, more often than most of the other stuff, is a saw uh, sheath. Uh, I'm just going to explain now why I've got loads of thread hanging off. I'm just in the process of restitching this piece. I've just um, just ordered a load more threads um, and I didn't like the colour that was in it so I'm just in the process of changing that. So the sheath itself obviously to house the saw. The saw I use is a Baco or Baco Laplander. I've had that for a good few years now, did a review on it uh, and it's serving me really well. I'm really happy with that saw. Uh, that's on a, a pretty heavy duty robust uh, dangler system. So that piece can stay on my belt and I can just drop that off, say if I was getting in my hammock at night. So yeah, that's a piece that's nearly always on the lap under, uh, on the belt regardless. Next we're going to get onto <clears throat> something new that's not actually ever been on my belt when I'm out in the woods yet. That's because it is brand new. But this is obviously my knife sheath. Uh, my previous knife sheath uh, for the Condor Bush Law was another item that is nearly always on my uh, belt. But like I say, I've made a, a new sheath. Uh, that's a vertical carry sheath, so it will sit that way across the belt. We'll fasten it from underneath. Um, just in here we've got the DC4, so that's the sharpening stone for the knife and a real small petite ferro rod that just does me just fine. So yeah, that's my knife. Um, <clears throat> next we will have um, the next two items, like I say, if I had to go off wandering in the woods or you know I was in the true wilderness uh, all of these pieces can be attached to the belt I would look a bit like Batman with his utility belt granted but if I had to ditch the Bergen you know I know I'm going to be able to make fire keep warm etc uh, etc et so the next thing I've got in there is my water pump with some steri tablets and the first aid kit you know, there would be the next things I grabbed, um, included in the first aid kit are some uh, like space blankets and stuff like that. So I know I've got warmth and shelter uh, and I can sterilise water. So they could go onto my belt kit. Um, also, I've got a lighter. This is um, very rarely even comes out of the house actually nowadays. But it is another piece that's designed, uh, it's Woodland Camp and Craft branded lighter. Um, this is more often than not actually on the uh, on the belt and that's a, a multi-tool sheath with a, I think this is, this is a Stanley multi-tool. Um, <clears throat> I did have a Gerber Bear Grylls one but I lost it in the woods uh, a short while ago and I've not got around to replacing it yet. This isn't really up to much cop. Um, 
but you know it will take a hot billy can out of the fire and it has a few you know like a little saw and a few other bits and bobs on there uh, quite basic but it's mainly the pliers that I use next we come to a survival kit so we all know what these are and uh, what these are all about um, so you know I've got the paracord bracelet there with a whistle and the, uh, the ferro wad and the striker all part of that uh, bracelet so there's another uh, pouch designed by me so we've got some garden wire there that I can use for snare wire uh, the, the full survival kit um, that's got the rubber on or it can be used for a fire also it's handy to keep everything tight but you know what that's in there it's got your condoms uh, water purification tablets sewing kit fishing kit you know all that sort of stuff a uh, little tiny button compass that sort of thing also there's a little tiny uh, uh, dynamo wind up torch in there um, don't know if we pick that up actually so that's a tiny tiny thingy just in case of, you know need any sort of light in emergency situation then we've got a really tiny tiny thin anglo arms little blade so I know that I'd still have a, a sharp edge if I needed it and then last thing in there is a magnifying glass so yeah that all goes in that little pouch obviously all this leather works all handmade by myself now next which totally needs replacing but this is a foam pouch this is one of the first pieces in leather I ever done and obviously um, the belt attachments actually come unstitched and now you can see where I didn't actually die behind that piece but that was one of the first ever pieces I ever done so protects the phone keeps the dust out but needs replacing um, <clears throat> next this, this gets bashed about it's on the belt fairly often um, but that's uh, an axe loop that's to hold my axe uh, at my side if I should need it um, to be fair that's on the belt a, a fair bit but I never actually hardly stick it in there because I need to upgrade it a bit because it doesn't my axe doesn't fit in there very well with the axe collar it doesn't come out so I've got to make a, a bigger diameter to sit my axe in Next, I've just got a spare um, dangler. There's a pretty lightweight one. Um, it's only got a small press stud, but that's just a spare, just to hook anything on that I might need to when I'm out and about. Then I've got an, another piece of leather work here, made by myself, and that's a uh, a dump pouch. So we all know how these work. That will be on the on the belt just there. Pop that open, and that comes a good. I think that's a an eight litre or four litre, four litre probably um, foraging pouch. So I can fill that with wild edibles or tinder bundles or whatever the case may be when I'm out in the field. So it's, it's handy, perfect size to have just on your uh, on your belt there. Another handmade pouch by myself. This is again one of my earlier ones. You can see that I wasn't able to get the stitching straight there while I've punched through four layers of leather. Uh, but my leather has improved since then. So yeah, that's got a two ounce tobacco tin in. Um, a decent sized ferro rod there. Uh, I got that from my friend. It gives a good shower of sparks. Um, so yeah, so in there I've just got some uh, Birch bark, some cotton wool, and a fire starter, uh, a barbecue starter, sort of fire lighter. Um, sometimes in winter, it's nice to do it all traditional, but um, sometimes you just want to get a fire going, especially if you're setting up in the dark. So I've got the fire lighter in there. Um, that was a different style of loop that I've done to the other loops. Um, 
it's a bit more streamlined. I don't put it to every piece, but it'll be a nice place to stick a maker's logo when I get one. Um, so yeah, that's the uh, that's that pouch. Next one, um, this is probably my favourite, most favourite one, is a. Uh, this is electrical kit pouch. Um, a bit more complicated design of a pouch. I've got the MTFU logo on there, representing the uh, Facebook group. Lovely, lovely bunch of lads there. Uh, that's a, a leather patch that we all got at Christmas. Um, so, just here that I've done with this one. I got this for Christmas off the MTFU Secret Center as well. This is the LED Lanza flashlight. I uh, don't know how many lumens it is, but it's bright. But I was always worried that that might come out there if it's on the belt, walking around. It doesn't seem like it will, but if it ever did, it's got the extra backup there. You know, have a pretty good magnet off a, a woman's um, handbag that I uh, upcycled it from. So yeah, I've got the LED Lanza there, obviously. That's the magnet. Pretty secure. Obviously made the button and that for it all myself. So that can be just hooked in there, zipped on, and then the top can be buttoned that way. So in here, this is a this fishing kit that it's actually um, electrical kit that I've got. So in there we have um, some spare batches for the uh, for the LED lenser. This is a uh, portable power bank. Um, it's only a pretty small one, um, and that would probably give an iPhone 50% charge, and that's it. But this never gets used. I've got a big anchor that I use mainly for charging up devices or mobile phones and it even charges my new headlight and my camping lanterns that we've got, all, I've got them all now so they all can be charged up off the anchor but this is if I've got an absolute dire situation you know, lose the phone and the charge I always know there's a backup 50% in there um, just there, obviously your multiple chargers for the various things that we've got Obviously phone, Lily's iPad and the um, new camping lanterns and that is just in there. That's if I plug the speaker in like a, a HDMI jam speaker that I've got. So that all goes in that little two ounce tobacco tin. So yeah, that's it. Um, I wouldn't wear that like I say all them pieces together. Because um, it would look like a bit of a wally, let's face it. But uh, it's a pretty comprehensive list now. I don't think there's anything that else should really be on. So I don't know if you've got that last bit. I don't really think there's any more that could be added to that list. But if anyone can think of it, you know, be sure to tell me. And, uh, you know, I'll think about including it and adding it. But uh, just tell me your reasons um, why I should add it. So yeah, that brings us to the end of another quick video. Uh, thanks for joining us guys, hope you're liking the videos. I'm trying to get a couple out a week now. Um, with Levercraft, camping, live chats or whatever it may be. So yeah, feedback will be great if you can like uh, and share this uh, belt kit about. I'll be really made up. And until the next time, I'll catch you in the next video.